congratulations on your nomination. What was your reaction when you when you found out? We were thrilled. Um, this is such an incredible honor. This is our first time in in London, in England first time in, in general. The UK. So uh, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that was to be nice. expected, it's though. Ni it's good tuxedo weather. Yeah. You know what? We get tired of the sun in L.A., so it's nice when it's overcast. Yeah. Since I'm this way, we'd like some these days. Um, let me tell you, ask you about uh, getting involved with the project. I mean, it's it's done great and, you know, financial business. It's had great acclaim and everything else. Where did you come into the process uh, and working with Spike? Uh, uh, Charlie found the memoir written by Ron Stallworth, and we basically just reached out to Ron and asked for his permission to adapt it on spec. Me, Charlie, and Ron worked on developing the, the early drafts, and we were able to get it to a producer named Sean Reddick, who was working with Jordan Peele on Get Out. Get Out happened, was a huge success, and Jordan Peele brought it to Spike Lee. That's a pretty concise summary. Very concise. I, I, mean, I absolutely love the movie, and one of the great things it does is that it's, it's very funny in places, but also there's an, you know, the underlying tones to it that are very, very serious. I mean, how did you go about kind of balancing the two? Yeah, there, you have to strike a balance. Um, when we first started working with Ron, he had made it clear to us that he wanted it to be a, a film that people took seriously, a, more dramatic than comedic, but he also gave us the freedom to have a little fun with it because the concept itself is just so absurd. Yeah. He, he says so in the memoir that you know the job was very serious, but there were points of un, unavoidable comedy. Uh, and what we did and what Kevin and, and Spike did was to take the absurd premise and just, we didn't really write any jokes, it was more about leaning into the absurdity of the premise. Let me ask you about working with Spike, I mean he's got uh, acclaim rightly so for this for this movie, I mean what is it that makes him such a special filmmaker and someone that kind of draws audiences but uh, invokes chatter about the, the right things? I think a, a Spike Lee film is unmistakable, there's something about it. He takes chances that no one else would take but he's also talented enough to pull that off. He does things in this movie that no one would even attempt, uh, and he does it, and it, it just completely works. When we read the shooting draft that uh, Spike Lee and Kevin Wilmot had done, we read, well, we saw our script in there, but then we said also, now it's a Spike Lee movie. Mm -hmm. He's really not afraid of what others think about his material, and I think that's what separates him from so many other great directors. He's got a definitive attitude to his work, and you know it when you're watching a Spike Lee film. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys!